So I'm filming this on my phone because my vlog camera died, but I got the Spongebob PR box. I don't know where to look. I guess it's here. And I just want to unbox that real quick because I don't want to wait. I want to make sure it's not broken, first of all. And um, I have it on a cat scratcher. I wanted some natural light in the front room. I'd have to unplug the cat fountain and I just didn't want to do that. Okay. I got a knife. And Doodle is here to assist me. Oh my god, this is so big. Oh, I can flip it around, maybe. I go with, uh... Oh, please excuse. These clothes. Can't get it open with one hand, or can I? Oh, I can. Oh, it's so cute. It doesn't look like anything is broken, which is great. Okay, so we got three sponges, which I mentioned. I don't know that I'm going to be able to use these, because... Look at how cute. When Patrick goes backwards. Oh, there he is. And Squidward. I'm really excited about this. I have one that came with a beauty blender cleaner. But uh, this is cuter. Sorry if I'm like huffing in the phone. Very out of breath. Okay, that's kind of in there. The highlighter. This is a little sponge case. A flat kabuki brush. Which. It's pretty cute. I don't know what I'm pointing you at. And then around. I don't have any of these kinds of brushes. So, we'll see. Brush cleaner. This is a solid one. And then setting spray. Hydrating and brightening. Primer mist. This sounds like a liquid primer. And then purifying setting mist. And of course, we have eyeshadow palette i've seen some people quickly review it and say they like it so we'll do that later i'll actually use it and we'll see what happens and oh here's the highlighter i saw this as a dupe for the fenty gold one she has trophy wife that's i drew a blank Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a rainbow shade, maybe? I'm sure it won't come out rainbow. I'm not excited about pressed glitter, but let's, let's just admit this is a cute palette. Here's the inside of the box. I will obviously be keeping the box because it's very cute. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to get on here real quick and... Even though my vlogging camera said it had two bars of battery, it uh, turned off on me, so clearly didn't uh you'll catch me back here shortly while i do like my first impressions see you in a minute i am back and ready to test up makeup i did all my base and my brows i just wanted something light to uh add it on obviously the other products are the star of the show but i wanted to make a quick note that this abh foundation seems to look a lot better on my skin using like a brush I put it on my face with a sponge and then I realized I wanted to test it with a brush so I don't know if it looks better because of the brush or because I used a different primer maybe it doesn't like my primer I use this hydrating and brightening primer mist that came with the box it has a really strong smell kind of like floral sweet floral like floral candy I guess I would say um and it has left I don't know I think you'll be able to see it but there's glitter all over I don't know interesting enough the foundation covered all of the glitter so I mean that's cool I'll continue to use it if it worked I don't know if it'll do anything and I'm not sure if 
Uh, it did nothing and this foundation just hates my normal primer or if it did something or it was just the brush. So I have to test it again before I uh, say that I found a cure for this. The other thing is I got this NARS set for my birthday gift from Sephora, like all the minis. And NARS Laguna is um, officially my holy grail bronzer. It doesn't look orange on me. It's a very flattering, warm thing. I also got, I think it's like a matching chapstick. I haven't tried that yet. Anyway, back to why we're here. I realized when I was doing my face, I should have used this for my contour and this for my blush. It's already on, so it's a little late. I can't say how those brushes work. I don't plan on using these sponges, which I think I said in the unboxing part. They're just too cute. They're gonna be little keepsakes. I will try the setting spray afterwards. I will obviously use the um, brush cleaner. I still have the highlighter. I don't want to mess up SpongeBob's cute little face. Look at his face that way. It's so cute. And now I have the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to open it. So I could swatch all these, but I'm wearing a hoodie and I don't want to take it off. Fast forward 30 minutes while I try to take this sticky off. Also, I did not curl my hair. This is my natural hair curl pattern. It looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so we got nautical nonsense. I see two pressed glitters in here, which I'm not thrilled about. Um, there's cute little Krabby Patties on here. I think this is a cute color story. So let's just get into that. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the ABH primer. And let me grab a brush. Sure. I'm gonna start with this shade here, which is called One Eternity Later. I'm just kinda, there's a lot of kick up. That's not the end of the world. I think this palette's like $15. Now, you know what? This is a new brush, so I'm not gonna use that. Notice if a brush is too new, it can work a little funny, and I don't wanna do first impressions with a brush that might not perform how I'm used to. I'd rather use that on a palette I know how it performs. Okay, so now I'm going in just a different brush. There's some nice options if you just kind of want to do like a nude look. So that's nice. I'm going to go with, let's try the blues. I'm going to go in with this shade here that is called Secret Formula. It does have marked on the back which ones are pressed pigments and which ones aren't. This is a pressed pigment. actually blending out fairly nicely. I'm gonna leave that for a minute and do this other eye. So a little bit of fallout so maybe do your foundation last if you're one of the people who don't want to deal with that. I don't know why I always do my foundation first. I'm going to go in with this shade mayonnaise and blend the edges. I'm going to try this color here, which is Gare Bear, on my lower lash line and go under my eye. They're all quite pigmented and they're blending beautifully. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is a load of barnacles. This is a load of barnacles. Now I gotta clean my brush off. I'm gonna just go on this very outer part here. 
I'm gonna attempt to do this shade, Bikini Bottom, on the outer half of my eye, and this shade, Eye Eye Captain, on the inner part of my eye, and then try something different on the inner corner. Just I want to try as many of these as I can, so we'll see how that comes out. NYX Glitter Primer. I think it makes all shimmers more vibrant. Now I'm going to use my finger because I always use my finger with glitters and shimmers of any kind. So first we got Bikini Bottom focusing from the middle out to the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to take my brush, um, clean it off, dip very gently into, what was that, secret formula, and just buff that edge also gently. There was some fallout with that, so I'm going to clean that up. Oh, that doesn't want to come off easily. We'll have to really clean that up. Now, I'm gonna do the inner part with eye. Oh, this is like weird texture. It's not quite a pressed glitter. Like it's definitely not a pressed glitter, but it has like that annoying fallout chunkiness. It's very soft. And then take that brush, no more eyeshadow, and just blend that, soften that a bit. Same thing on the other eye. It looks like a fairy exploded on my face. That, this shade is very messy. I'm gonna try to save this side of my face a little. And I'm just patting those two colors lightly, blend them a bit more. We gotta, uh, we're gonna try to pick some of this up with tape. Yeah. And I just have some clearance washi tape from Michaels that I use for crafts and makeup. So we're gonna try to pick some of this up. I didn't get all of it, but I got most of it. So I consider that a win. Now for my inner corner. I could do that bright white, but I think I'm going to do this lime green because I really want to try it. So I'm taking my pinky and just tapping it in here, connecting it to the top and the bottom. I don't know why I used that brush and had that glitter color on it, not the purple. Well, that's just a mess. Not my intention. I'm gonna get that Gare Bear shade on a different brush. I'm gonna come in and try to fix it there. There we go. Okay, um, there's some sticky residue I gotta get off. All right, so I was able to try how many shades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight shades on my eyes. So I think that's a pretty good um, estimate, or it's a pretty good amount to be able to tell you how I feel before I do mascara and Sam liner. I'm not even calling it eyeliner because I don't use it properly. I'm going to try the setting spray. This is just purifying setting mist. We'll see. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh my god. I inhaled it. It has that same. That one actually smells a little more like cotton candy. It tastes terrible. Don't eat it. Oh, we need to use the highlighter. I don't want to ruin him. It's so cute. This might be too dark for me, but. Spongebob. I think this would be beautiful on darker complexions and um it's just a little, 
like bad. It just looks like costumey on me, which is fine. If that's the kind of makeup you're going for, it's really cute. It's not too dark. It's got a pretty glow. I love the Wet n Wild highlighters, but I might be able to preserve SpongeBob and just use around the edges for like an inner corner highlight or something. Let's use this Harper shade. I need to get better eyeliners. It's gonna line the waterline. And for anyone who doesn't know, I am a massive SpongeBob fan. So that glitter from um, Eye Eye Captain is traveling. So if you don't use the glitter primer, I imagine it would travel even more. Just a heads up, using Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. What am I doing with my lips? Let's just, I'm just gonna put on some uh, fussy gloss balm. Uh, anyway, this was a fun kit to get. There will be some things I won't be using, but I wanted them for collector reasons. So if you're not going to use the sponges, obviously don't get them. I can't tell you the quality of the brushes, but Wet n Wild usually doesn't disappoint me. The things that I would personally recommend, I would definitely recommend this. This I thought was a great quality. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I love the colors and it's just really adorable. Also, the sponge and brush cleaning pads. I got a tiny one with the beauty blender and I love it. It works so well. So I am not quite sure of the price of this, but you get one, two, three, four of them. They're all textured for different things. So I think this is really worth it. Um, on the back, it tells you what. So the top bun is for deep clean. The lettuce is sponges. The patty is for eye brushes and the bottom bun is for face brushes. That's handy. I'd say this for complexions, like medium to deep, it would be really flattering. If you only want one thing from this collection and you can get your hands on it, I will say this is worth it. If you want anything from this collection, these two things are for sure what I would recommend. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you got anything from this, if you want to get anything from this. I know it's still rolling out in stores. It's not fully released everywhere yet, so you could still have an opportunity to get these things. They're not sold out yet, so that's good news. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.